Yes, friends. So I was talking about the comparison of two horoscopes of two leaders. Uh, and the, as I, you already discussed about that Mr. Modi, uh, the present Prime Minister, okay, uh, versus Shraddha Balabai Patel. Okay. So why I have compared this, that I already described that because of some, some of the people have asked me that why the uh, Mr. Modi is so much interested in Sadar Patelji. Okay, and because of that, I uh, got this idea in my mind. So I have compared a uh, number of okay leaders, number of people, and that are discussed one by one. But first, I'm taking these two leaders because uh, presently Mr. Modi is the Prime Minister of India, and as I predicted, that he will be Prime Minister in 24 also. Okay, uh, and uh, the period of uh, the time period. Uh, I mean, in time of birth, I have just changed because of the event which happened in his life. And as I predicted, the time is the period, best period or good period will start from this period. Okay, in 2011, uh, 11 October, I think, 11 October 2020, but it has started now at 3 9 2021. And it will continue up to 7 years, up to 28. Okay, 0 to 3 9 2021 to 0 2 9 2028 September 3 uh, uh, 3rd September 2021 to 3rd, uh, 2nd September 2020. Okay, so this is what the idea came from. And uh, so I checked this because its time period is now 11 18. That is the exact one. Because some, sometimes when you know people who are not so much concerned in the in the beginning about the time birth and this and that because of that time period is sometimes you know uh, uh, mis uh, noted down or people are not so much interested so they note down whatever the period is set by the uh, people around okay at the time of birth now now come to the point and uh, about so, so far as the Padelji is concerned his time of birth is 1923 19 uh, means uh, 7 PM 723 7 degrees 7 hours 23 minutes and 32 seconds. Okay, so this is hours I have written down. So this is in what you call intensity time. So 19 hours 23 minutes and 32 seconds. So this is what or evening time. Okay, this is 7 hours because if you subtract 12 hours, so this will be 7 PM 23 7 23 32 PM. Okay, so his time of birth is this one, and uh, date of birth is 31 10, 31st October 1875, and uh, place of birth is Nadia, Gujarat. Now come to the point. So his horoscope is of Taurus Lagna, Lagna Taurus. Okay, Taurus means second, second sign. Okay, second sign, and the moon is in eighth sign, as that of Smoothi is there. Similarly, the first similarity that moon is. In the same sign, okay, Scorpio sign. Moon is in Scorpio sign. Eighth sign. Eighth sign is Scorpio sign. Here, Smoothie's uh, Scorpio sign is the Lagna lord. I mean, Lagna sign. And here, he is having seventh lord as Scorpio sign. Now, whenever these four signs, eight, eleven, second, and five, okay, I mean two, five, eight, and eleven, these four. Signs are known as fixed signs. Fixed signs. So fixed signs 2, 5, 8, 11. Fixed signs. So whenever most of the planets are uh, positioned or are located in these signs, okay, or Lagni is also in the same sign, or these four houses which are known as pillar of the horoscope. Pillars, main pillars, four houses, first house, fourth house, seventh and twelfth uh, tenth house. Okay, so these Four houses are known as pillars of the horoscope. So these pillars of the horoscope here only Patelji is having seventh sign, seventh house occupied by moon. Okay, other three houses are empty or are not occupied, they are non-occupied. Okay, so this is what he is having struggle in his life more. Okay, he also has struggle because of Moon is alone here, okay. Moon is alone or moon is debated, not debated because it is in the debitation sign only. But degree of debitation is 3 degree 
and these two I mean leaders Modi and Mr. Uh, and Sri uh, sorry this Patelji both are born in the same nachatra what is same nachatra? Anuradha nachatra okay Anuradha nachatra the only difference is that Mr. Modi is born in second quarter this is second quarter second quarter because 8 degree 59 minutes and 15 seconds his moon is at 8 degree 59 minute and 15 seconds exactly not which I you know quote in the first video so that was just uh, my imagination but I just had already calculated but I was just misquoting that this was 49 I wrote down in that video but in this this is the exact one 8 degree 59 minutes and 15 seconds and Nachatri Anuradha which I have already discussed about his horoscope in prediction number second I think you can see that okay and the second thing which I just you know want to I mean uh, what you call express my views regarding one question which one of the person has asked me okay in the uh, views section or comment section I think of my first video when I just you know started discussing about this comparison so one person has asked me that what is the difference between what is the uh, I mean importance of Vedic astrology so that I think I have discussed already comparison between Western astrology and Vedic astrology so that you can see search in my okay you know, previous um, I think prediction that is lecture series one of the lecture series recent lecture series I think previously also I took this lecture series and later also I have taken that lecture series and that was the difference between Vedic astrology and Western astrology. So please see that, uh, okay, uh, as, uh, lecture series, I think that was lecture number I'm forgetting, I, maybe 11th or 10th or 11th or 9th, uh, recent, okay, that you can see there. So, difference in Western astrology and Vedic astrology. Vedic astrology is more appropriate 100% to if the calculations are done perfectly well, if data given by the native are 100% true, then predictions goes 100% true, okay, prediction goes 100% true regarding a person's life, but in Western astrology, people are just, you know, psychology, that is based on psychology, and because of that number of, I mean, people, but, you know, what you call, uh, jailed, because they were just claiming that uh, their, their uh, astrology is 100% true and this and that, so one of the astrologers, I think, died or he was jailed or something, because initially he was, professing maybe in Germany or maybe in France, I'm just forgetting, but this is under question too that one of the astrologists died there in Western astrology because he was studying about Western astrology. So Western astrology is just based on psychology, not 100% true because they cannot predict about future life. But here we can predict about the future life of a person if the data given is 100% true. Okay, so that is only one condition that uh, date of birth, time of birth and place of birth Place of birth may be nearby, no problem, but time of birth and date of birth must be 100% true. Only then, the prediction about a person's life are 100% true. And about this, the whole life is full of, I mean, these events. My life is full of all these events because number of people have been benefited because of predictions of uh, mine or, or other astrologers, okay? And that is full of history. Number of Western, uh, I mean, now, People are coming, Americans, uh, Russians, okay. Most of the people from European countries, they are coming to India. They are studying astrology and they have they have found predictions 100% true of their life. Okay, that are, you know, you can just go to the description of my, uh, that uh, first video, I mean, regarding this, the, the same uh, prediction series. So you can go to this lecture, this prediction number 11 the first video in which I have discussed in the description portion you can go through that the two writers who are uh, who are I mean 100% true regarding Indian Vedic astrology and they say that why Indian uh, independence Indian independence was declared on 15th of August at midnight 15th August 1947 at midnight because the people uh, I mean uh, the astrologers were consulted and then the Mahurtha or election time was appropriately chosen at uh, 12.15, 12.20, 12.15 to 12.20, 12 hours or 12 midnight, 15, okay, or it may say 00, 00, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, 15 minutes to 20 minutes, okay, in between at midnight of 
15th August. This was the 15th August 1947. Okay, on that night, I mean that day, at night, why India got independent? Because this Mahutta was selected by the Pandits. That I have discussed about in detail. Go to my uh, no, uh, lab, I mean, production series, maybe second, third, fourth, fifth. So please just search there. And I can thank all those people, or I am going to thank you, that almost all the subscribers who are so much interested. Because my main objective is just to spread the Vedic Astrology among the seekers, knowledge seekers, those people who want to study Vedic Astrology. And because of that, I have taken this task in my life. Otherwise, uh, I was not having time from teaching mathematics and uh, management subjects, like mathematics for engineering students and uh, and mathematics and uh, statistics, mathematics uh, management subjects, almost all kinds of subjects I can teach of, of management and engineering and te teaching mathematics. So the point is that even then I have taken this task because having total knowledge of this, finding long to let roots and all these things we have studied in astronomy and astrology. So Vedic astrology I am taking from a childhood period because my grandparents were so much interested regarding this astrology and number of people were just you know, coming to our house and they were discussing about this. So I mean inheritance of this kind, people when are having they cannot forget this. So our inheritance is of Vedic astrology. So, okay, so that's why I have taken this task. Just my objective is just to spread the Vedic astrology among different people who are who are knowledge seekers who want to know about Vedic astrology. Okay, so number of people I have found, they are interested. Okay, all over the world, American NRI students who are going to USA, UK, Australia, I have found interest in them. And because of that, okay, and some of them were, uh, you know, so much impressed because of my predictions regarding their life and that interest and that. And that I am uh, going to discuss about in the description period because at the time I am going to compare these two people. Now come to the point. Okay, so. I was talking about the comparison of these two I mean, leaders. Now, so, so far as Sadar Patel is concerned, he died on 15th of December 1950. Due to heart attack, the heart attack people say, or let me talk about some, so please don't mind about this because this is fact written by some of the writers of the colleagues of Pandit Nehru because it is said in the India means freedom which was published completely published in 1988. 1988, after 24 years of death of Pandit Nehru, Pandit Nehru died in 1964, and after 1964, after 24 years of death of Pandit Nehru, the book completely published in 1988, which was India wins freedom by Molana Azad. Okay, in that book, Molana Azad, he writes regarding Pandit Nehru. What was what were his views? Hundred percent. I mean, look, totally he was against Pandit Nehru. Because of that, he uh, initially announced that this book must be published. This portion of the book must be published after my death, when or um, after Pandit Nehru is died, and this and that. So whatever. So in 1988, the book was published. Okay, and in that book, he writes on page number. Uh, you, you may go go to the whole book now because that book is. Uh, digital, I mean, I think that book is available online. India wins freedom by Modern Ajat, Abul Kalam Ajat. Okay, so Modern Ajat, or Mal, you just write Modern Ajat and you can find this book online. So that is the book in which he writes regarding Pandit Nehru. What he writes on page number 170, uh, 160 to 170, you just go through. And a lot of things regarding Pandit Nehru he has talked about. Okay, and then second book regarding Pandit Nehru's life, okay, or the basic things, his interests and everything regarding the whole life about Hinduism and this and that, what were his views were regarding Hinduism, that he written by uh, Murari Desai, his colleague of his time, and later he became Prime Minister in 1977, okay, he was, uh, Murari Desai was the Prime Minister in 1977 in India. So he has written his biography, autobiography, in his autobiography, uh, Sadra, sorry, uh, Mutlan, sorry, is Murai uh, Desai uh, writes that Pandit Nehru was so much honey because he was personally had talked with him because he was colleagues, he was cabinet colleague of his Pandit Nehru. So he was having that Pandit Nehru was not having any interest in God and this he was atheist, okay, and he was so much. Uh, 
sarcastic about Hinduism and this and that. He was pretty young as Hindu. Okay, he, he was just taught by his father, Pandit uh, Muthilan Nehru, because Pandit Muthilan Nehru was totally Europeanized, and because of his childhood period, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru was also Europeanized, totally westernized. Okay, and uh, Muthilan Nehru was interested only in, as the one writer writes, that he was interested only in drink and flesh, only living life with whole, all kinds of enjoyments. That is his aim was, his objective was. The similar things was uh, incarcerated uh, or he may say uh, adopted by Pandit Nehru also. Okay, so since his childhood period he was Europeanized, he was totally westernized. He was westernized person. Because of that he was taught by his father that you have to live like a non-Hindu, non-Indian, non-Brahmin, this and that. So he was totally against uh, Hinduism. This is what um, uh, Okay, uh, Desai is right. Okay, Desai is okay. So, <coughs> right, Desai writes that he was totally against Hindu, he is sarcastic about Hinduism, and and he was so much interested just to eulogize one religion that was Islam because he wanted that people must vote. He was just, you know, what he called uh, thinking about uh, appeasement politics that started by him, that was started by him, and followed by congressmen up to now and still they are just still following them but now people have understood that why they were interested in, you know, in those that vote bank policies it was there and uh, regarding Sardar Patel the views of Sardar Patel and Jawal Nehru about Jawal Nehru uh, Molana Ajat writes in India with freedom that about Sardar Patel Pandit Nehru had anti views why because when um, Mahatma Gandhi was killed in on 31st January 1948. Okay, after that, there was a whispering campaign against Sadar Patel by Moti, by Pandit Nehru that uh, he was thinking uh, that uh, Pandit sorry Mahatma Gandhi was killed because of Sadar Patel. Sadar Patel was okay. Uh, what he called in the uh, in the killing of Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, or in the campaign of Mahatma Gandhi or killing of Mahatma Gandhi. He was. That kind of whispering campaign was run by Jawal Nehru. This is written by uh, Mohan Ajat in his book India with Freedom. This I am not writing from, uh, not saying from my own, but it is written by Mohan Ajat in his book India with Freedom, page number 170, 160 to 170. You can go through. He's, he has written about uh, Jawal Nehru, lot of anti things which are just you know because he was colleagues and he died in. Uh, 80, uh, 58, okay, yeah, he died in 58, 22nd February, 58, who? Molan Ajat. Molan Ajat, Molan Ajat died in, uh, on 22nd February, 1958, and Pandit Nehru was died in 64, so after 34 years and 24 years, 34 years, after 34 years of death of Molan Ajat, the book of, written by him, but published completely in 1988. Okay, and in that book on page number 170, he has written about Jawal Nehru, Pandit Nehru, that he was totally youngest. He was anti Sadar Patel. Views regarding, I mean, because Pandit Nehru, why he was youngest? Because initially, Sadar Patel was selected as the um, what he called Congress Committee member or Chief of the Congress Committee member to be chosen as Prime Minister of India, but he was supported by Mahatma Gandhi. Why Mahatma Gandhi supported Jawal Nehru? That I'll discuss about the comparison of Mahatma Gandhi and Jawal Nehru is horse course because they are also born in the same Nachatra. Pandit Nehru is born in the first quarter and uh, um, Jawal Nehru, sorry, uh, and Mahatma Gandhi is born in the fourth quarter of the same Nachatra. So when Nachatra moon is placed in the same Nachatra, then people are having the same mentality, supporting each other. And it is said that after coming from uh, England, Nehru, uh, Pandit Nehru went to his ashram, Mahatma Gandhi's ashram, to fight against, uh, okay, to fought for freedom of India, I mean independence of India. So that, and he followed from his childhood period, Mahatma Gandhi. So Mahatma Gandhi was followed by Jawal Nehru. The reason was that they both were born in the same chitra, or they are born in the same chitra. First quarter and fourth quarter, this is the only difference. What are the quarters I'll just talk about? And similarly here, 
from 3 degree 20 minutes onwards. 3 degree 20 minutes onwards. Another chitra starts. Now at 8 degree 59 minutes. Actually, 3 degree 20 minutes plus 3 degree 20 minutes. If you are 6 degree, is 2 quarter 6, 6 degree 40 minutes. Sorry, 6 degree 40 minutes. Why? Because 3 degree 20 minutes is 1 quarter, 3 degree 20 minutes is 1 quarter, 3 degree 20 minutes is 3rd uh, quarter, 3 degree 20 minutes. So 3 degree 20 minutes is strength of 1 quarter. 1 quarter means 1 fourth part. So 13 degree is 13 degree 20 minutes if divided by 4, you will get 3 degree 20 minutes. So this is 1 fourth part of 1 chakra. Okay, so this is first part, 13 degree 20 minutes. And then, if you add 3 degree in 3 degree 20 minutes, 6 degree, 6 degree 40 minutes. Because 6 degree 40 minutes is for 2 quarters, the strength of 2 quarters. So you will get up to 10 degree. It's for 3 degree 20 minutes, plus 6 degree 40 minutes, plus 6 degree 40 minutes. This is 10 degree because 40 plus 20 is 60 minutes. 60 minutes means 1 degree. This 1 degree added to 6 degree, 6 degree plus 1, 7 degree plus 3, 10 degree. So 10 degree to up to 10 degree. In up to 10 degrees. This is 8 degree 59 minutes. So this is second quarter. So in the second quarter, Mr. Modi's moon falls. So he is born in the second quarter of Anuradha Nachatra. Right? So Anuradha Nachatra is uh, second quarter. Now in case of this, I mean, Sadar Pradesh, he is born in the third quarter. Why? Because his moon is at 11 degree 30 minutes 37 seconds. 11 degree 30 minutes and 37 seconds. Now come to the point. So if you add in 10 degree, you got 10 degree, up to 10 degree there was second quarter. 10 degree, 10 or 0, 0 minutes or 0, 0 seconds. Right? If you add 3 degree further, for next quarter, third quarter, so you will get 13 degree 20 minutes so up to 13 degree 20 minute, 13 degree 20 minute. It is third quarter. Okay, if you add further 3 degree 20 minutes, 3 degree 20 minutes, it will be 16 degree 40 minutes. So up to 16 degree 40 minutes, there are four quarters total, four quarters as I have written down here 16 degree for up to 16 degree 40 minutes. There is a Anuradha Nachatra in Scorpio sign. So up to 13 degree 20 minutes in Anuradha Nachatra, there is third quarter. You got 10 degree plus 3 degree 20 minutes. This is third quarter. 3 degree 20 minutes. This is third quarter strength. If you add this strength in 10 degree, up to 10 degree it was second quarter. And from second quarter to this 3 degree 20 minute means 13 degree up to 30 degree 20 minute is fourth quarter, sorry, third quarter. So in the third quarter, because well, it is 11 degree 30 minute, so in the third quarter, Sadar Padanji is born. So both are born in the same nachatra. And this is very important in case of a nachatra. Now, if I compare his uh, Kut Milan, as I discussed in Kut Milan or Virtues Milan of two horoscopes. Even if the both partners uh, are life partners, they may be uh, um, husband and wife, or I mean boy and girl, they are they are matched. Their horoscopes are matched, just to make them uh, similar uh, of similar virtues. I mean they are liking each other so that they cannot fight in their life. <coughs> now in this case, any two persons can be compared. As I told you in my prediction, uh, sorry, lecture number three or lecture number four, I think lecture number three is discussed about. The, all these, I mean, uh, nachatra and all these things, I uh, discussed about how to uh, matching of horoscopes, matching of horoscopes of uh, life partners or, or you know partners in a business, any business if a person is starting, or any two persons, any two persons in a in a family, in uh, two brothers can be compared, two sisters can be compared. Father and mother can be compared, okay, or I mean father and daughter can be compared that how father's qualities or virtues are matching with his son, with his uh, other sons. So all the brothers can be compared because in the same family, two, two uh, brothers are fighting with each other. They may have differences of their